Hey guys, Nightmare for 50 here, and welcome to the Looker. I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, there we go. So, now you get to see why I have two timers. One on the top left and one on the top right. Because when I put away the top left, the only one that's showing is the top right. No one asked, I know, but still. Now there's a reason to have two timers instead of one. So now I know you guys are seeing my screen, and also that you guys... Can see the timer still because here in the night we for 50 we pride ourselves with uncut content start continue in. Uh, right that's a cool puzzle So if you guys don't know the looker, it's been going around. It's a cool puzzle game. And you know me, I love puzzles. Oh, that's chess. Okay. Well, first I need to figure out what the heck I'm turning on before I turn it on. This goes up there. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding a better deal than zero. <laughs> Through many births, no. I have no. wandered on and on, That's a dumb searching for, ad. never finding better deal than zero percent APR on certified pre-owned vehicles for trucks tougher than a <laughs> Kublai Khan received a worded letter signed by Marco Polo in Madrid city of lost things no item remains where it was set that is the dumbest if one drops his key in the dirt he may never re-enter his home and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood in complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in a recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head. And when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. Right. Sweet, thank you for all these things. I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay, there's a lot of things going on here. Oh, there's a puzzle over there. I don't know if I want to hit the recorders now, because it's just... It doesn't help me, but it's just hilariously dumb. Sweet. It goes straight to the ground. Uh, I saw a puzzle over here. Cool, I could write from very far away distance. It's not that hard of a puzzle. I will say, all I'm doing is just doodling. Am I just playing chess? Where's the, where's the, um... I think I could just do that. From here. 
Do not come in. Stop. Thank for your understanding. Come in. Like, am I supposed to be doing something here? Because my ink is red. I mean, hey, I have a lot of, this marker has a lot of ink or whatever. So what's stopping me from actually... I'm good actually. Alright, what am I doing? Uh, this thing is going around. <laughs> I just kept highlighting. Oh, uh, game allowed it to. There, there. Can you even solve this? No, they're all dead ends. That was the only way to solve it. They're all dead ends, aren't they? Yeah, they are. That was the only way, because if you go here, it's just dead end, dead end, go back, dead end, dead end, doesn't go anywhere. Dead end, dead end. Yep. They Same with this one. Like, what? What do you want me to do? I can just screw your puzzle. Can you even solve this one too? Dead end. Dead end. Dead end. No, it's the same puzzle. It's the same joke. You can't solve that. Oh. How would you have done that? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you just obscure the vision then? Interesting. How would you solve this one? It's needed for this one. How would you get all of this in frame to do such a thing? Oh, that's how. Outside the box, yeah. Can you solve this? That's a dead end. That's a dead end. Those are dead ends. Dead ends, dead ends, dead ends. My brain is good. Oh, I found it. Gotta keep your hand steady though. Well, not really. It's like, how do I solve this one? Well, this is actually a maze. That one was actually a maze.
Hmm. This time there's nothing there to say. And it just says start. Do I just fill this entire thing out? There's no, where's the fun if I just fill this entire thing out? Did the spell end? Because technically this kind of looks like an S. Oh, I... I get it. Beep. 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 You're right there. I mean, beep. 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 Come on. Beep. Beep. <laughs> yeah. Beep. Beep. Yes, beep. Beep. I'm fired. Beep. Yeah. Brain. Brain. That looked like that was going to be just a bunch of uh, dead ends. I like that beeping one. I was like actually confused. I was like, oh, do I have to spell something? No. Okay, where's this one lead to? I highly doubt I have to do chess or something. One of these pieces is not like the other, I'm assuming. I mean, I could just cheat and just try to attempt to draw on all of them. No. There's a lookout tower there. I could probably try and see if I can get up there. That connects to that. Oh, that's a hint. No, I'm good. It's a trash hint. It goes straight to this. And there's no other wires leading to this. So, like... Alright, we'll just get higher. Uh, how do we get high? We go over here. That's why I was just pointing towards chess. I know how to play chess. Did that move him? I push every single one of you. But yeah, the, the game is trying to tell me, hey, your objective is just to do from start to end. We're fine, we're doing you. Oh. We'll drain you in blood. Kill this man. 
for treason. Now we can try and connect all the blood. gun now. Okay. Thank you, game. Fine, we'll do another recorder. Imagine gravity is fractal. Because light is just a wave, and gravity is just a wave, so imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's, like, blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but, like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out. And she turns out to be ultraviolet girl. And she has super speed, so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. The heck did you just read to me? That's very original. It just needs more red, I think. Try adding some more... Uh, stuff. More stuff. No, try putting some more loops on it. It simply must have more loops. Now you have too many loops. Three. Okay, we're gonna go up here instead. Oh god. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link uh, between quantum and classical, uh, so that we oh can have a god. single reality uh, whose laws and rules are that? united at some deeper level. Oh. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event, or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched, because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Part, part two. Glad. Glad to hear, buddy. I don't think it mattered what I just did there. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. <laughs> World champion Bobby Fisher. <laughs> oh, that's actually hilarious. Like you can get better at this game. If you, well, you you'll get better if you love playing this game. It's just like I hate game. I hate the game. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood, any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. 
The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art. Right. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious okay. old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. I don't think they had It is admitted insurance. that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism, and the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? Well, yeah, I do insurance. <laughs> they never had insurance. You. I was kind of following what you were saying. Because I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, insurance, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, technicians or mechanics. The bigger the ship, more money it costs. Boom! But then you just start talking about Einstein. The heck? I started realizing now that, yeah, okay, now I understand this game. More than I wanted to, but it's hilarious and I love it. Am I saving people? There's like a house over there. If not, I just destroyed ships for no reason. That door open. Definitely did hear a door open. Probably not back there, probably here. Yeah, the door, yeah, this door open. Because I did hear it to my left. Not good. Snack. Ooh. Oh. Fine. Is this a shortcut? I'm not done yet. What is this connected to? Are you another puzzle? You are. This way. That's impossible.
I forgot S to E or start to end. Okay, let's draw straight lines this time. I knew what I did, but the other way, so. <laughs> I don't think I need to come back, do I? I hope not. I think I failed again. I just is copyrighted. Victory! Snack. I love snack. Alright, uh, we needed to do that anyway, so I'm glad I didn't just think that that was an achievement. Which I was thinking for a bit there. Where do I go from that way? What, what the, uh, excuse me, game, what did I, what? I did so much, and yet I didn't question any of it. But I can't get through the maze. Can you help me find my way? The ca Captain Kid Meal will come with your choice of beverage and fruit cup. Orange juice, cider, being lemonade, milk. Oh. X. Oh. X. Oh. X. I win! Wrong way. Every draw that. I made it to the end. Pretty sure all these lines are connected. No, they're not. Deluxe cheddar mac, chicken tender, chicken nuggy, tuna tuna pizza, tofu crab crumble, jumbo corn dog. Yeah, with medium French fries. Oh, I would. Wouldn't buy and get a jumbo corn dog. Hold long pork wrap. Calamari burger. Calamari, they must say. Alright. 
company you want. Let's try to just a decently straight line game. game. It's the game's fault. It's not the player's fault that they can't draw a straight line. There you go. Oh, oh, thank you. Nah, knowing this game, that's uh, all dead ends. Where's the music come from? I don't know. Okay. Might be an Easter egg. It would have been funny if they just had this around about. Right, you know what? I'm... It's probably not it. Alright, maybe time. made out of leaves, can I just walk through it? It's like a corn maze. If you get lost, just go through the corn. I still believe this is like a just dead end maze. There's no way of getting through it. I was thinking I saw something over here. Well, not this way, I guess. Yeah, there's a statue like right here. So I think I'm gonna try and get to that statue. That you see it, right? It's right there. I'm not trying to get from one end to the other. It's more like how do I get to that statue? Just trying to hit all these symbols. Is that what I'm trying to do? It's not that hard. What? Am I supposed to be ignoring them? Is there a pattern I'm supposed to be following? Is there a hint of said pattern? 
No, not really. It's just like, just do it, right? What am I? I supposed to hit you and you. These arrows mean I have to go that way. What do I do with this one? It's not, it's not a Z. I don't know what to do here. What? Oh, Angel, can you help me decipher such a message? Not just go there. I did every pattern, did I not? It's just you two combined. Is it the same pattern I'm trying to achieve here? Nice, we have I forgot how to solve this one. How do I solve this one again? I don't remember. 
I'm assuming it has to be the same going up and down. So like, what? This is the middle. That wouldn't make sense, would it? How did I solve this? Isn't it just like going like this? Just avoiding that one? If only I had a steady hand, maybe I wouldn't have had so much problems. I don't understand. I don't think I need to... It doesn't like me doubling up on itself. Is that what it's trying to... No, but then this doesn't... I don't know the rules. That's what, that's the thing that's making me very confused. Up, down, no. Can't do that. This puzzle is taking me longer than the other puzzles. I don't know what I have to do. I mean, I could just... No, this one won't allow that. Because of the way it's formed. It has got through the middle. I don't know. It can't repeat itself, and it has to be just one line. I'm losing it. X marks the spot. No. No, you can't double up on yourself. But then this is why this answer makes more sense to me. It's it's just an S. But I guess not. That's not the answer.
do I have to double up on this? So you like you have to touch this twice. That would make more sense. No. Then what the heck? The other symbols I don't understand either. This goes up, this goes down, but now I'm stuck and I can't. guys i'll be right back i'm gonna look at a guide or something because i'm struggling on this one okay i'm back what the heck am i looking at all right so i was supposed to do this that doesn't make any sense am i only allowed to touch the symbols once all right screwed up It's not a big mistake. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, as long as it's not a student. Okay, wait. Let me review the kind again. What am I supposed to do now? Is this not needed? Did I not need to do this? Okay, well, I'm done with that. Oh, the book, the book is filled. Am I supposed to solve the maze? Is there is there a reason I was supposed to? Oh, my God. All I got was an achievement. Damn, if I did all of that for an achievement, I'm killing you. That doesn't go anywhere. I took so much time to solve that. This is just gonna lead me to the exit. Or entrance. Entrance is right there. This is is this it? Am I here just to get achievements? There's no ending to the game. Okay, well, there's some achievements I could be doing right now, so I'm going to go do them right now. The first achievement, apparently, I'm supposed to head back. Which I wanted to do at the beginning of the game, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Especially since I was solving the first puzzle, and now it's a long way to go back. Solve to delete save file. I'm assuming that's the ending of the game. Uh, I gotta solve so many puzzles. I don't know what to do now. How did, I, how did I get up there? I forgot. I got up there by doing that. I'm not doing the hint system. I 
only way I remember how to get up there is through this. Apparently there's guides on how to do the snake uh, thing, which is funny. I still didn't solve this. Spin this. So the recorders were in his. Apparently, getting all the recorders was an achievement as well. Full place. So these puzzles. So the cannon. Thanks a lot, Mac edition. Oh. This reminds me of Metal Gear. Lately in the round is not going to score your high score. Get closer to the TV. screenshot this, but I don't know what this means. I guess I went to the maze for no reason. Uh, yeah, it's all dead ends. None of it led to anywhere. That projector. Is it a cannon? Laser beam. Burn the food. Burn. Two of them now. What are they? What are they? What are you? What are you? What are you? Sweet. Pass cold. Oh.
What are they doing? Oh, I need to get up there. There we go. Okay, so I have to hit each symbol once. It looks like I can't repeat it twice. Uh, glad to hear that, game. So I can't backtrack. I'm so glad I don't really think about stuff like that. What? Uh, I'm resorting to guide. <laughs> right. Of course. That. That makes so much more sense. I gotta go here. Go up and around. Hit that. Don't hit this one. It's coming up. Head all the way around this. To hit you. Hit the next symbol. up exactly how did that make any sense night I don't know I see the start, I don't see the end. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I can paint on the walls. What, what does the guide say? Oh, okay. I right, that makes more sense. No, I go this way. Yeah, and then because there's green there, I can go here. Here. Did I mess up? I didn't mess up. There you go. The obelisk. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. Schnellan wicks a little bite. Right. What's the stones of reflection? Okay. Oh wait, it's a giant cop. <laughs> right. A game by Bradley Lovell. You know, you did an amazing game. I loved it. It was a lot of puzzles, uh, a lot of jokes. 
Can I go back to that door with the health and the ammo? Is that gonna be open now? He did his own voice. Textures. Bullish with small round leaves. Good kid. Wizard's book cover. Glad to see you get giving out uh, where you got your stuff. Income. Uh, if I said that, incomplete.com. I was like, what? This comes in an edited form. Arcade game. Cutting plan by Congress Bunkus. Is any of this copyrighted? Boss battle number one. Wait. Oh, music. I was like, wait, what? Boss music? I didn't hear any boss music. This game was a lot of fun. I'm happy that it took me an hour to beat it. The obelisk. Well, it's not really an obelisk, though, no, was it? Oh, it's just a music. But still, that, <laughs> that ending, though. I didn't know what it was talking about. I was like, what? What's it showing that? Piano? Suck. Oh. oh, that's so oh, weird. Jeez, dude, I was in a coma the whole time. Okay, this feels so weird. Whoever did this has got to be some kind of whiz with a computer's. Am easy. I will never hurt you. Don't draw on the plate. No, don't. Easy one. <laughs> Success. Book for kids. Right. <laughs> and the game just crashes. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're done here. We're done here. Apparently. There's one more achievement I could get, but it's not worth it. It's you know that shooter game. Apparently, I gotta get a score of 600. I got 400 and something. Uh, I'm not going for that achievement. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that video, leave a like. Guys, hey, leave a dislike. Comment down below anything you wanna tell me. I will leave the game uh, download link in the description. If you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's hilarious, and it's just, I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's just, I love the puzzles. The only thing I got hooked on is the puzzles, and it did deliver, but I don't know it was all of this. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad it took an hour, but yeah, and I guess, oh, I just realized. Wait, hold up. All the achievements have the start and end, but they just drew stuff on it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's creative. I love the creator who did this, or developer. And yeah, and I guess, on that, guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video, or possibly live stream. Bye, guys.